No, it's not. Look at. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I don't fucking know, man. I'm trying to figure it out. Are those tattoos or is that paint? It's battery acid, actually. No, like on your arm. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What the fuck's going on here, man? I don't know. What's going on there? Where are you from? I'm from the only place that matters. Well, you're from the U.S., but where at in the U.S.? You know where. Take a guess. Take a guess, my guy. Are you atheist? Holy shit. Why would you ask a question like that? Just because I assume that you are. Why are you assuming such? We can absolutely have this conversation. I will, I, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Why do you think I'm atheist? <laughs> What it what about well, back look at here? Yourself. Yeah, no, I'm 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 aware, but like I want you to understand how weird that sounds. I mean, I could look at you and be question. like, you're, I know I know what it is, but so I'm assuming you're a Christian because only Christians ask that kind of question, right? I'm not Christian, but you're I'm not. Fo- I'm no no I don't believe in religion. You don't? No, I don't believe in religion. It's very surprising. No, I'm a follower. Of- I'm a of, follower of Jesus Christ. It's different. Are you a Jehovah's Witness? No. What are just you? Just a follower of Jesus Christ. I, I, just so, a follower of Jesus so Christ. So you just follow Jesus person. Christ's teachings. Let me see if I understand yes. correctly. Let me lay this out for you. You looked at the background around me and the shit I have in the, on my face and the contacts and the piercings. And you said, are you an atheist? Does that sound very Christ-like to you? Uh, no, uh, because I asked you the question and I didn't assume that you were atheist. I no, just asked. but so if like, I was like, I, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, if, do you think well, I still love you and I, and I still think that you're yeah, a good person? Yeah, but I but mean, it comes it's, from it's a, just, it, it feels, see, it if, feels if I, judgmental. If I came in the perspective of like, Hey, I know that you're an atheist okay. by the way that you look, yeah. then you would be right. But I just asked. But so you didn't ask you are, anything you else. Your immediate assumption was, or your immediate question, rather than assumption, was that. Well, I, was I also atheist. like some of the things that you like. Like I'm going to a, I'm going to a Slipknot concert here okay. in uh, September. So. Okay. And you still you still worship Jesus Christ? I do. Yes. Why do you think that? I have a question for you. Actually, I thought about this the other day. Why do you think that it is that? Because you start off real strong. I mean, you know the answer. I don't really have to answer it past this point, right? Like, we've gotten to that point based on our discourse thus far. Would you agree with the atheist question? Um, I don't... Or would you still like me to answer is what I'm asking. I mean, I would still like you to answer. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Are, we'll we'll do are. that first. I uh, don't prescribe any moniker to, uh, like, uh, atheist or agnostic because I feel that that has a preconceived notion um, that is associated with such uh, titles. I don't believe, to answer your question, no, I don't don't believe in any Abrahamic God or anything like that. I think that's uh, stupid. I think it's for, no offense, I think it's for more weak-minded people who don't uh, have the motivation to continue in life without knowing that there's a higher power. And that's unfortunate, but they're allowed to feel that way. And I'm not going to judge you for it. I'll just have my own personal feelings about it. So yeah, of course. And you can have your, you can have your own personal feelings as well. I feel the same. More, more important. Go go ahead. I was just going to say, like, you don't think that there's anything after death? No, I think, I think humanity wants there to be something after death because we think we're important and we're not. So do you believe that everything in this world just magically happened out of luck? No, I wouldn't say out of luck, but uh, it's, I mean, when you look at science and you look at biology, life always creates itself out of some way or, or For or sure, another. but even the, even the smartest scientist, Albert Einstein, mm-hmm. a couple others, I can't think of their name, mm-hmm. when, they, when they researched the Big Bang... Mm-hmm. They also came up with the analogy that you can't create something from nothing. Yeah, nothing can be so there created had to from be nothing. Something, there had to be something that created the Big Bang. Absolutely. Meaning, that's why Albert Einstein converted into a follower of God. Because mm-hmm. he figured out that there is had to be something that caused the Big Bang. And the only so it had to be that, a sentient being that is all-knowing, all-powerful, that inspired people to write a book. Do you hear how that sounds, though? Like, yes, I'll it, agree it, it inspired with you. People to, 
it inspired people to write a book, but there is many true things behind that book. And there's a lot of evidence behind the book. But the book is filled so, with fallacies and holes. You would think that a book that was like meant to catalog all the accomplishments of a knowing and benevolent God would like not have as many, you know, like, let's say for uh, sake of discussion, that would be like me putting forth a paper and, and you know, championing that I'm, I'm a well-rounded, uh, I don't know, uh, architect of, of, of linguistics. And I write this book and it's just filled with fucking inconsistencies and it, it just, it, it fucking. Well, what inconsistencies are you speaking of? The old Testament and the new Testament are counterintuitive to themselves. Just like base, like right there. They, it, it, it goes from a God who is, uh, vengeful and wrathful and hateful to like a God that's like, did he have a midlife crisis midway through the Bible? What do you, did I have a midlife no, crisis? No, no, God. God. So, yes, God is very vengeful. God is very ruthless. But God is also, us. yes, but God is also very forgive, forgiving mm -hmm. and, and loving. And um, there is times where God has done some really messed up things. And so God reincarnated himself as Jesus. That's why Jesus is God. Um, that's that's what I believe, at least. I know a lot of Christians and a lot of people that grew up on religion, they don't think that Jesus is God. And but why does, God. He, why does he need a blood sacrifice? Like, he made those rules. That's kind of weird, don't you think? Like, Yeah, no, it, it is weird. It's, it's definitely weird. But if you think about it, the Bible was written by 60 different authors. Yeah. In four different languages. And they're all mm -hmm. the same. They all tell the same story. They all have millions of cross references. What about that the Quran? Is that... See, the Quran, mm -hmm. if you compare the Quran to Jesus is the only person in all religions. He's in every single religion. Yeah. He's in Buddhism. Yeah. He's in, he's in uh, Muslim. Mm -hmm. And he's also in Christianity. And mm -hmm. he's in Hinduism. And he's mm -hmm. respected in all all religions yeah which is something that that's super powerful in itself so everybody knows that jesus existed you can't prove um, it and the quran what'd you say sorry there's, there's no proof that jesus christ ever existed well so, besides besides the book and the book the so bible itself you, is not proved. if you died uh -huh. right and a bunch of people your family members say that you existed mm -hmm. does that does that mean you existed or, or no would you believe them or no? I mean, not particularly because I so mean, like if Jesus we're had, Jesus had over 500 credible sources mm -hmm. see him after he, he resurrected mm -hmm. and every single a, a bunch of them died saying and were and were killed stoned to death. Yeah, absolutely. Because they said that Jesus resurrected and nobody believed them. Yeah, so I they mean, stoned them to death. You'd want to so die on the hill at that point, I would think. Well, yeah, and if if you, if you're a credible source and you're and you're a smart person, you you wouldn't die for something that didn't happen, right? That's that's a fallacy. That's not a, a a good argument, though. That's a straw man argument because you're saying that there's no way that they would lie about it if they're willing to die for it. Many people have died for shit that is wholly untrue, right? Well, yeah, ma many people have, but when you, when you when you talk about five hundred people, that's a lot of people. I mean, we could talk about how many people died for Adolf Hitler. They thought he was the second coming, basically, in their own, in their own, like misguided. So is is Hitler Jesus? I know you're not saying that, but I'm asking. No, Hitler is not Jesus. Hitler is the only person that lived a sinless life in the entire universe. And he even asked his enemies if they could name a sin that he committed, and they couldn't even say anything. What? Wait, you said, wait, hold on. Did you say that Jesus Hitler... is the only? Oh, you said, okay. You said Hitler. You meant to say Jesus? Jesus lived, Jesus is the only human okay. on earth to live a sinless okay. life. But you did say Hitler. So I was a little confused there. And not even his enemies can call him out on a sin. Wrath. Say again, sorry. Wrath. I mean, he, he, he was, he was angry in the temple, right? Jesus? Yes. Yes. When he when he trashed the temple, this is my father's house, and like tore up all the shit because people were like selling and gambling in in the church, right? I don't think that's Jesus. I think you're thinking of somebody else. No, I can pull it up for you if you'd like. Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah, actually, please do. Okay. Yeah.
Jesus. But you should really passion. look into it, man. Uh, I think it's I think it's good to believe that there's something more to life than just than just meaningless luck. Yeah, but I don't think it's meaningless. It's, it's necessarily... the meaning that you prescribe to it, right? Well, I mean, more so than just the world, like outside of the world, sp- spiritually and and you know, life after death. Does it does it make you feel more important? Like no, no, it's not that it makes me feel. It, it's not that it makes you feel more important. I think it gives people purpose. I think that Jesus is a great role model for people. I think that you know everybody needs a role model. Um, and there's a, there's a lot of evidence and truth that Jesus's life was true. Mm-hmm. Just like how you know I can say scientists can have all this evidence that uh, a great flood happened. You're going to believe them, right? Because there's a bunch of evidence behind it. But there's no evidence of the great flood. No, I'm just saying that's just a, this is just a like a hypothetical. Like if if a bunch of scientists yeah. came out mm-hmm. and said that there's proof for climate change or proof for an asteroid coming to strike the yeah. Earth, then then you would you would agree with it. And it's the Not same thing the for Jesus. I mean, it's a combination of like uh, me being able to analyze and and find what what they came to uh, that conclusion they came to. And then using my own powers of uh, deduction to be able to come to the same conclusion. Which, by the way, the Jesus at the temple is Matthew 21, 12 through 13. Uh, and what does it say? Uh, Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house would be called a house of prayer, but you're making it a den of robbers. So he basically lost his shit. He, he, he didn't like, commit any sins there. I mean, that's wrath. That's anger. That's wrath. You shouldn't be uh, acting that way, right? It was very human. I believe that was written, so it kind of humanized Jesus. Jesus is just a moniker. 90% of the Bible is just allegories. It's just, it's it, it's like a parable. It's not truth. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I feel like a lot of the time it gets lost in translation. When you take something that's a parable and you attribute it to like actual factual life, you can get... A little bit misguided i don't think you have a misguided approach to life i understand what you're saying in the regard that jesus is a good role model in all aspects yeah jesus is a pretty decent guy but i'm calling into question the fact that your religion uh that you prescribe to even though you don't prescribe a title to it you just said you're a follower of jesus has a lot of hatred religions and, cause too many wars and too much death. Uh, not wrong. just that not just war and death it's um uh judgment it's it's not it's not i mean even even in the beginning of our interaction. You didn't ask me, I'm, I'm gonna assume you're a Catholic, are you a Catholic? You didn't ask me that, you asked, am I an atheist? And that's what I was bringing attention to, was the fact that based off of your outward perception, you immediately assumed, you did ask the question, and we can get into semantics about that all day, but the fact that based on outward perception, that's not very Christ-like. Christ would not walk up to a random person that looked different than him and be like, I assume you're not a follower of this. That's just not for sure. And uh, that's why that's why I continue every day to try to be more like Jesus. And, you know, I definitely do things wrong sometimes that I need to work on. Yeah. Um, So you're you're probably right. I definitely came out that the wrong way. Um, But that's why uh, getting better and and studying how Jesus lives so I can follow that uh, would make me better at that. I, I have a final question for you, though, and I appreciate our conversation. I appreciate you being so candid with me. Why do you think that the devil would sentence people to a life or a, an eternity of suffering when God did the same thing to him. And what I mean by that, let me elaborate. So Satan, according to the Bible, was cast out as a fallen angel, right? He disobeyed God and then was banished to hell. And then we're supposed to believe the idea that the same person who was who challenged God and didn't obey was then sent to a bad place where then now it's his job to fucking shit on everybody else who did the same thing he did. You see how that doesn't really make any sense? Well, a lot of people say that, uh, that hell is earth, that, Mm. uh, Satan rules earth. And that's why there's, that's why there's so much wrongdoing on earth. And that's why he does it. Not necessarily, but, but yes, um, that's why, Christianity or Jesus is the most mocked religion on on the planet. 
Mm. Uh, speaking of the, the Olympics, actually, two days ago, they they made fun of the final supper, and in the open of the 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 opening of the Olympics, they had a bunch of you know people dressed. No offense, but similar to you in like costumes. And Are stuff you talking like about that. that metal performance that that black that 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 uh heavy metal performance that happened? No, the opening the opening of oh, the Olympics. Okay. The other day. I, I didn't see that though. Yeah, it was just a couple days ago, so it's very recent. Wasn't there so wasn't there like no mention of the hell in the Old Testament though? You said what? Sorry, there wasn't any mention of hell in the Old Testament. What I understand, uh, you know, I'm not as well versed as I'd like to be, okay. um, so I, I really don't know the answer to that. I'm still reading the Bible cover to cover. Um, I also studied. Do you know who Cliff uh, Netchel is? No. Um, he's a very big preacher. Um, if you're gonna, you know, that's why. If you ever want to say again, I said that's why I don't know, but continue. Um, if you ever want to like learn or like you know at least have an open mind mm -hmm. about uh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. um to just hear what he says i would definitely recommend listening to him out of all people because there's a lot of people that say they're christian they say all these things and then they don't actually know what they're talking about yeah um so i actually don't know the answer to your question so i'm not going to answer that okay. um i'm not that far in the bible yet um i have knowledge here and there um so i i really don't know if there's a mention of hell but uh in the old testament but i do know that um uh, a lot of people say that hell is earth mm -hmm. and that once Jesus gets gets resurrected uh, again and, and comes back to judge, which also in the Quran says Jesus will come back to judge. But the Quran also says that only God can judge. And then the Quran also says that you should listen to Jesus. Okay. So that's another different religion pointing towards Jesus. Um, but basically what I'm saying is that after Jesus comes back and, you know, everybody goes to heaven or, or whatever you want to call it um that will be earth will turn into hell okay. because all the followers of jesus and all the good people that follow good teachings not saying that you're a bad person yeah. or anything um but all, all the people that follow the teachings will go and then the world will just become complete anarchy because you know people are living in a godless society where you can just do whatever you want you can kill people whatever and then hell would now be earth i just think that's kind of crazy though because like you know god labored like if, if we're operating under the guise that like let's say earth is already hell right um didn't didn't god spend like he was so tired after creating the universe and everything within it including the earth that he rested on the seventh day which is why we worship on sundays and then he would or make that he would make that like a horrible time i also so I mean, god god believes in free will no he so doesn't this is exactly no he doesn't he does, yes, no, he does. no i'm gonna tell you why he doesn't Okay, Adam and Eve is a great example. You place a tree of knowledge and you say, you can't do that to these two people who have no knowledge of anything else besides, you just plopped them. Why did, why did the tree have to be put there at all? What, what is to, that? Exactly, so he put That's that not free will. There. No, so he put that tree there to give them free will. What? If he wanted everything to be perfect and he didn't want temptation to be in uh -huh. his life, there would be there would be no tree to begin with. Why did he point it out to him? Wouldn't it be like somewhere because where they it gives find them, it? He said, because he said, hey, there's this tree here, mm -hmm. and if you eat it, very bad things will happen. But uh -huh. if you don't, mm -hmm. if you don't, then everything will be perfect, everything will be fine, and you will be God's children. But that's so that not free will because God is all knowing, all powerful. He's omniscient. Well, that gives so them he a choice. Knows. No, but it's it. not a choice if he already knows the end result. Because he's all yeah, knowing, he know all powerful. So he already knew what they were going to do even before mm -hmm. he made the Garden of Eden. And then he made it knowing what choice they would make. That's not mm -hmm. free will. That's a facade of free will. Well, wouldn't you say that's the opposite? If he knew what was going to happen and he didn't want people to have free will and he didn't want them to eat that apple, why did he put that apple there in the first place? He put that he apple there in the first place to give them free will. No, because he's a petulant child. The God that is described in the Bible is a petulant child that wants nothing but uh, unadulterated worship at, at any cost. He want he want he sacrifices his own child in this weird blood sacrifice to adhere to the own rules that he made, just so we're absolved of the sins that he created. Everything is his creation. If we mm -hmm. ab if we observe all the rules that are laid forth in the Bible. Everything. That's why I say there's inconsistencies and holes. It doesn't make sense from a logical standpoint. 
Well, the whole rules change after the New Testament. That doesn't make any sense, though. <laughs> like, uh, you know what, psych? I'm just gonna I'm gonna flip it around. We'll flip the script. That's why I was saying, like, what did he go through? A midlife crisis? How do you expect an entire society of people that you try to impart this 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 uh, this level of worship upon you? And then you're like, you know what? No, now I'm not an asshole anymore. I'm not going to force you to kill your children. I'm not going to force you to sacrifice or any weird, like, old world habits. Now we're being progressive. And now well, I'm well, he never forced anybody to kill kill their children. Didn't he fucking... Well, he never forced anybody to kill their children. How did he not force them? He, he never had anybody kill their own children. At all? No. Okay. He, he he did have somebody sacrifice their own child, but before he did it, he before he him, actually right? sacrificed, he stopped him. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the same dude that, like, his daughters raped him, right? If I recall that correctly? In the cave? Yes. Uh, it wasn't rape. It was it was consensual, but, but That's yes. That's weird. I mean, it's incestuous. It is weird. Yeah, yeah it, it's very weird, and there, there's some weird things that go on. What would be your justification for that? For me? Yeah. Was it is a different time? Is an older time? You see, Anywhere. and I, and I wish I wish that I was more well versed because I know that a lot of people that I look up to that preach this stuff would have mm -hmm. the perfect answer for you. Um, I don't have that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, I do think so. I think that it, it was a very different time. Um, and, and that's, that's a, another reason I think maybe God realized he was doing things wrong and that's why he reincarnated himself as Jesus Christ to, to switch how, how it worked. I want to, I want to, uh, hold on one second. You said God did not make anyone sacrifice anyone. And I'm going to quote for you from Genesis. Well, he sacrificed animals. Hold on. Genesis 22, two, God said to Abraham, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moria, sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain. I will show you. So he did make yes. him. That's contrary yes, to what you he, said. He, he, yes, he told him to do that in, in order to prove his devotion to God. That's fucked up. Right before, yeah, but, but he wanted he wanted to uh, make sure that he was devoted. And he wanted Why? to make sure. Well, he wanted to make, because he's making Abraham his prophet. And he wanted to make sure that he was loyal to God. And so right before he never actually killed his own son. No, but he still, he would have, like, it always goes back with me to the crux of all-knowing, all-powerful, omniscient. He knows everything. Time is irrelevant to God. So yes. none of this actually matters to God. It's just a game. So the fact that he's still willing as this loving creator to put humanity through all this just to just to show me, show me your loyalty. Does that not sound if, if I look, look, let me put it this way. If I light my wife on fire, does that mean I love her? No. Okay. Then why is it acceptable when fucking God does it to millions of people because they made a mistake in their life? And that's what I'm saying. God was a very different God in the Old Testament. But and people still adhere to how he was in the Old Testament and prescribe it to modern day. So is, is their interpretation wrong and you're right or are they right and you're wrong? How do you know? And that's the issue. That's the issue with religion. Mm. And that's why you need to be a follower of Jesus Christ. That doesn't... Is because... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that doesn't make any sense. You said... That's the issue with religion. That's why you need to be a follower of Jesus Christ. That doesn't convince me. Yeah, because people, the, the people that go and, 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 and still use the Old Testament and they still do all these things, those are mostly people that are guided their own way. Because you have to read the whole Bible to get the whole story on what, on what you're supposed to do. But, but you don't know what you're supposed to do by your own admission because you haven't read the whole Bible. Well, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to follow Jesus Christ's teachings. Okay. I'm supposed to repent for my sins. Okay. I'm supposed to try to live as close to Jesus as I possibly can. Okay. Which, is, which isn't even any any bad things. Like even even if you didn't believe mm -hmm. in in heaven or life after death, following okay. someone that lived a perfect life that was yeah you no. know 
Yeah. One of the greatest people to, to ever exist is, is something that's very powerful. But here's my problem is that there's a lot of people who prescribe to Jesus's teachings and his way of life and seek to try to fill his shoes in their own or not fill his shoes. That's I basically mean like, you know, be him as best they can. So my mind would lead me to believe that you would tr you would try to be the shining example of a follower of Christ, right? Logically, if you're following like basically what is described as the best person, right? That yeah. that had no flaws. You said he never sinned. So mm -hmm. why is it that 99% of every person that I interact with who prescribes to the same shit you're describing to me is a piece of shit? I'm your new stepdaddy. You're because grounded. Because 90% of the time Bitch. people say they're followers of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. Jesus Christ and, and they say all these things and they're fakes. Okay, That's so just... so like all most of the, then most of them are fakes and just a few are, are right? For sure, it's 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 very hard to okay. to yeah, it, it really is that way. A lot of people are, are raised in a Christian family, um, are raised in a Catholic family, and they they listen to their family's teachings rather than Jesus Christ's teachings, mm -hmm. and so they th they think that they're a follower of Jesus, or they think that they're Christian, or they think that they're Catholic, or if they're doing what the right way they just listen to what their family members tell them and they're still very judgmental they're still rude they're still thieves mm -hmm. they still you know a bunch of countless things and that's not what jesus teaches that that's fake that that's okay. that's that's like saying you know you like rock music but can't can't name a single rock band yeah or or metal music but you don't you can't name a single metal band okay or saying you're a gangster, but you've never robbed somebody or, or killed somebody. I'm a gangster. <laughs> but, <laughs> but hey, I do have to go. If, right. if you will, if you if you will do this for me, on your computer, real quick, look up Cliff C L I F F E, and then space. His last name is K N E T C L E. Okay. And if you if you have Instagram, he 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 um. He goes to colleges and a lot of people ask the same questions that you would ask, mm -hmm. um, that the same questions that you asked me, mm -hmm. but he will have a thousand times better answer than I would have. Okay. So if you genuinely are curious, yeah, then, then watch a couple of his videos mm -hmm. and just, you know, from yourself, cause my answers are horrible compared to his and I'm still getting better. Like I, I recently found jesus probably only like a year and a half ago okay i had a lot of bad stuff happen in my life my mom went to drugs my dad is abusive mm. um kind of raised myself uh, my brother was an atheist so i was atheist for a while yeah uh, and, and then i kind of changed my ways um and, I, and i'm still working on it yeah. um but, but if, if you will for me just watch a couple of his videos just have an open mind to it if it doesn't cliff see, if it, what c-l-i-f-f -F what c-l-i-f-f-e Mm -hmm. space his last name is uh k-n-e-t-c-l-e and then he should pop up I, okay. I don't think i spelled that wrong but did he pop up let me see Copy that. cliff kentucle yeah, something like that he should pop up uh, youtuber a YouTuber. He's got an Instagram. He's got a bunch of bunch of stuff. It's just for clarification. It's K N E C H uh, uh, T L E. Yes. Okay. Did he pop up? Yeah, yeah. I see him on a stage, preaching. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, he's on Instagram too. So just watch some of his videos with an open mind, and he okay. like goes to call. He goes to like you know, colleges and and people that have the same questions that you have will ask him like, hey, if if God really exists, and why did all these people die, or why did this happen? And he has way better answers than I would have. So, all right. But yeah, man, it was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Um, yeah, I, I wish you the best, brother. I also like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you will watch those for me, with I, I'll mind. check them out for sure. Yeah, and if you if you agree with it, awesome. If not, not a big deal. But it was yeah. a pleasure talking to you, brother. All right, take it easy, man. Enjoy your weekend. All right, you too.